Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. Today let's talk about comparisons. To begin with, just think about the number of times today when you thought of what you could have and you don't have. How many times were you jealous or envious of a friend's or a colleague's new house, new car, travel, lifestyle and leave alone car and house. These are the very basics, right? Today we are living in a day and age when thanks to social media where we are even jealous of somebody's wardrobe, hair, shoes, clothes, makeup, just about everything. So one thing is for sure, that today we are constantly stuck in that battle of comparison and when somebody shares some good news or some achievement, our first thought is not always to feel good or happy for the other person. It's never to share that sense of achievement and victory with the other person. Instead, our first and instant reaction is always, No, yaar, iski life to badi set hai. Where did I go wrong? Why don't I have all of this? And leave alone comparing ourselves with people of our age, our own friends and colleagues. Today, we are even comparing ourselves with the people at the top, people at the pinnacle of their careers, Bollywood celebrities, cricketers, superstars. Because according to us, that is the dream life. That is the kind of life that one must have, right? So one thing is for sure, that instead of asking ourselves these more important and practical questions, we are constantly comparing. So let's start with talking about our professional careers first. Why did we choose a career? We cracked an exam, we liked a subject, we thought that you know we could pursue this in the form of a profession, we could possibly earn a living out of it and sustain ourselves and our families. And possibly also, you know, maybe add some meaning and more happiness to our lives. Sometimes people enter into a profession because they admire somebody already in it and they want to follow somebody else's footsteps, which is perfectly okay. But is it worth it if it's actually challenging your own path? If it's actually diverting from the goals that you set out for yourself because you loved them? Then ask yourself and think about it. What are your own goals? Have you discovered and achieved the maximum potential that you have within yourself? Have you exploited and explored your own inner talents first? And secondly, let's talk about success. When we compare ourselves to success, do we also compare ourselves to somebody's personal struggles and failures? Somebody's lows in life? Somebody who might have overcome a fatal disease, somebody who might have lost a loved one, somebody who might have faced a thousand rejections before landing that perfect dream job, somebody's lifestyle, somebody's discipline, consistency and persistence. Sit and factor all of these and then compare yourself. And then you will feel how unrealistic you are being. Write these goals down on a piece of paper, write these lows of somebody down on a piece of paper and then you will see that you are actually trying to create an alternate self which you cannot do because you are born you. Just like somebody else cannot become and live your life, you cannot do that for somebody else, right? Because everyone goes through different phases in life because of which they land wherever they are. So don't create and don't live in this make-believe world where, we, where you're only trying to prove a point, where you're only performing to prove something to the others. And who are you proving to? To neighbors, to friends, to family, to society? Everybody who's undergoing their own personal battles, whether or not you're aware of it and whether or not they choose to talk about it. So next time when you compare, sit and think, what are your own goals? Are these your own goals because you want to achieve them, because you want to accomplish them? Do you believe in them? Or these are your goals and you're just busy ticking off from somebody else's bucket list? Be in competition only with your own self. Because when you're in competition with your own self, you're focused not on defeating the other person, but you're focused on winning. When you're in competition with your own self, your focus is not to prove a point, not to perform, but because you're already busy creating it. When you're in competition with your own self, you know, you're focused not on actually mindlessly scrolling down social media and feeling bad about yourselves because you know deep down that you're creating and adding value to your life by taking positive action and by making positive efforts. So be your own cheerleader, be your own competition because that's the only competition where, we, where you're not losing, where you're only moving ahead, you're only progressing forward. So people, if you like this video and you want to watch more videos from me every Monday and Thursday, please subscribe to my channel and stay tuned in. Thank you so much for watching.